had the song of because <laughs> Simba really loves his pianos, these his what's what's it called? <laughs> Hello guys, my name is Maingi. Today we're gonna do a reaction video of another Somali song. The name is Mar La Arag by Gulat Simba. By Gulat Simba. Okay, first of all, who is Gulat Simba? What do we know about Gulat Simba? We I reacted to one of his other songs, Jenna Dunia, where he was playing the whatever thing. Mm. How the song go? Okay, no, 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 that's how it went, really. It was a good song. Good listen, but keep going. Um, we, I guess, the meaning of the name. Uh, I think Simba means lion. Uh, probably, probably does mean lion. Guled. I will look up the meaning of Guled later on. Now, what do we know about Somalia? I've talked a lot about Somalia. I've said a lot about Somalia and the Somali people. Where the Somali people live? Somali people live all over East Africa, but mainly in Somalia itself. Kenya, Ethiopia, hmm? Djibouti. Djibouti, like half of it, I think half of it or most of it is Somali, if I remember correctly. Um, you have you even have artists like ROX who are from Djibouti, even though I put the Somali flag, which I guess doesn't really matter. Anyway, you guys understand. Okay, so I figured that this time we may as well start learning about the cultures of uh, this region. I actually learned ma ma ka. Uh, how to say, to ask what your name is, and then makayu wa makayu wa makayu wa maingi. So maka is how you. Uh, what's your name? And makayu wa is my name is. Okay. So if you're in Somali, maka. Uh, what's your name? Uh, in Swahili, Jinalakoni. Then the reply, Jinalanguni, my name is. Jinalakoni, what's your name? Jinalanguni, my name is Maingi. Uh, Makaiwa Maingi. I hope you guys like that and whatever. Okay. What, are we, uh, what else do we know? We're gonna just learn just small Swahili words until. I'm like decent at it. What do we know about Somalia as well? There are elections coming up soon and you know, politics, politics all over East Africa, politics anywhere in the world, in Korea even. It it, it gets really it gets really complicated. It gets really complicated and it, it can get really nasty. So yeah, politics in Somalia is always like whatever. In Kenya it's always whatever. Oh uh huh. And then there were people who were talking about Somalia and its federated regions. I, re I always talk about the geographic fact about Somalia. Uh, the major cities. The major cities, Kismayu, Mogadishu, Galkayo, uh, Hobio. Hobio is also another major city. It's a port city. Uh, Ayo. There is... Argesa, there is Barbera. Somalia is home to about 15 million people. Only 15 million. Uh, that's not, the population isn't so big. In Kenya, Kenya is home to about 50 million people. Tanzania is home to 55 million people. So, Somalia's population is actually almost the same as even South Sudan. No, Rwanda even. Rwanda has about 10 million people. So, like, Rwanda is very small. Rwanda is the size of the Nairobi metro area. If, like, about 20,000 square kilometers, if I remember correctly. Somalia itself is about 600, over 600,000 square kilometers. Somalia has Africa's longest coastline. It's either Somalia or South Africa. I forgot. And, yeah, let's talk about historical Somali figures. There's... Ahmed Gure, 
it was a general uh, who fought, you know, when Ethiopia was an empire. These guys, they fought a lot. So he was a major general. And so sometimes even when Ahmed Bure, people hear his name in Ethiopia, they're like, they get mad. People see his statues, him being praised, they get mad because, you know. There's also Hawa Taku. Hawa Taku was a woman. Um, she fought for the liberation of Somalia. She's in Somali currencies. I think I'll put a picture of that somewhere. I think I will put that a, pic- a picture of that somewhere. The tallest, the highest point is in the northern part of the country. I forget what it's called. Anyways, so we're talking about Somalia. So, yeah, it's getting super dark, so I'm just going to film really fast and then finish up. So, yeah, the tallest point in the country is in the northern side of the country, and I forget what it's called, as I've said before. Um, so what I'm going to do, since it's getting dark outside, I'm just going to start, f- I'm going to react to this really fast. Gulutsimba Marag. Full screen file. New screen recording. Record. Okay, I'm going to start the song in three, two, one. Okay, he, he really, like Gullit Simba really loves his pianos, his, his what's, what's it called? There's a name for it. Uh, Okay, so is that money? Is he talking about money? This this doesn't feel like a heart, like a love song per se. 
So I'm guessing maybe it's a just general like we'll look up the lyrics. Okay, so that song's just ended. It is Gulad Simba's Mal Marla Arag. Okay, I do not know the meaning of the song, but we could just look up the lyrics really fast. Uh, not take too much time. Okay, beautiful view. Once I said he did not plant. Wash in the morning. Colorful flowers. What do you pay for? I, I don't I don't get I still don't understand the meaning of the song. Mm. There are are there no English translations? Oh okay then if there is nothing, then what I will do is we'll just guess the meaning. Yeah, maybe it's just a life song, just a general whatever about how something's gone. Cause I I this this song isn't as it, it, I think the other one was more. The other, the other song, Jana Dunia, it was more about the message. Like the message, I, I kind of got it. Okay, maybe he's talking, he's asking, do you have a wedding? There's something about a wedding in this. And my Somali is, is nada. Uh, I, I don't know any Somali. Uh, it's zero. Mm. So what I will do is, yeah, okay, well, let's just talk about the song. The song itself is, is okay. Okay, it's just okay. It's, it's, a, it's a nice song. Actually, I'll be, I'll be honest with this one. I like, I like Jenna Dunia much better. Because like, I don't know. I feel like I I kind of like got more of what was going on with that song instead. With this one, I'm kind of like I'm I'm like lost and like I'm lost even completely. Uh, and I'm not saying it's a bad song. Still stream it. Gulat Simba is still like he's still a good artist. Like, and then he loves his instrument. I I like that. At least at least we now know his his character. We can now build up profile of Gulat Simba because I keep saying we, I don't know who Gulat Simba is what's he do he did the whatever thing uh, with the last song and now this time with the violin uh, I can tell maybe he's not playing he's not actually playing the violin but then we now know that that's his thing he likes instruments and just likes to show that he can play them kind of um, yeah and that's that like the song itself isn't you know, I don't have too much to react to because like even the language limit, I'll be honest for this one, like I'm kind of like stuck. Uh, the language limit is a thing. If people could explain in the comments what it really means. Muka kuruda le mar wahan indi mar dito mai suba mai dos uba mi w manka bihita. Uh, he said some, and then he says something about him not being a poet. So I can't really understand what's really going on. Who looks at you? Who is a millionaire? Thousands more. Are you in a bad place? Are you a lady? I don't know. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to exactly say. But this is just, yeah. 
it's just it's a song to just check out would i say it's a it's your typical somali music thing uh, no not really um this i'm just checking out because um once i watched the other song by good simba this was also recommended to watch but otherwise nothing too fancy no fireworks uh, this song isn't really setting fireworks for me to being like, oh, I really love it. No, I'll, I'll be honest. It's just, it's just an okay song. It's just a song to listen to. And that's, that's the truth. I'm sure there'll be another good Simba song that I will like, that I'll be like, oh my god, this is amazing. Even though I don't understand the Somali language. So what we're gonna do right now, since I didn't really do my part and give you like a good reaction... I'm going to compensate for it. I'm going to kind of compensate for it by learning a bit more Somali. Okay, let's see. Where are you from? Wahan Kaimid. Uh, Kenya Wahan Kaimid. I'm from Kenya. Kenya Wahan, Wahan Kaimid. Uh, my name is Maga Maga Magaikuwa Kenya. Uh, what's your name? Ah, uh, no, my name is, my name is, my name is Kenya. My Gekuwa Maingi. My name is Maingi. Uh, Kenya Wahan Kaimid. Uh, I'm from Kenya. And I would like to say, like, thanks a lot, guys, for subscribing to the channel, for those who already have. And, yeah, I'm gonna learn Somali as we go. Hello. Hello is Iskan, Iskawaran, Iskawaran. How, oh no, how are you, Iskawaran? Uh, or Liwaran? It's like, um, in Swahili, in, in Somali, this translates to tell me the news. In Swahili, it is also tell me the news. Habariako, Habariako, tell me the news, Swahili. You could also use the Arabic version, Assalamu alaikum, but then I wanted it to be more uniquely Somali. So Iskawaran. Iskawaran, talk about yourself. In Swahili, habariyako. Iskawaran, habariyako. In Swahili. Uh, mag, ma, maga, 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 maga. In Swahili is, jina lako ni? And then you reply, magai kuwa, magai kuwa maingi. Jina langu ni maingi. My name is maingi. Uh, Kenya wahan ka imid. I'm from Kenya. Natokea Kenya. In Swahili. Natokea Kenya. I'll write this all down. Anyway, thanks guys. Um, I, I will stop there for this video. Because it's getting super dark. The quality of the video will be will get worse. So, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Tell everyone. Santin. Shukran. Muka kuruda le mar wahan idi. Marito mai suba mai do suba mi w manka bihita manka bihita